Welcome back to Nightly News. I'm Jean Meserve, live from VNN headquarters in Washington, D.C. Our lead story in business today is a cybersecurity scare of potentially global proportions. A network of hacktivists known as The Void today threatened to unleash, and I'm quoting here, a global day of extreme action against U.S. interests and organizations, both private and government related. If you need a digital terminology refresher, hacktivism involves the nonviolent use of legal and or illegal digital tools in pursuit of political ends. In the past, the void has come out against the Global Trade Summit and other trade and finance related institutions, as well as independent companies. A section of the message text from the void speaks of a zero day attack. That's an attack which exploits computer system vulnerabilities unknown to others, even the software developer. And tonight, there are indications that the void plans to, or has already, gained access to the systems they're going to exploit. The Void's message was sent to several reputable online news sources, including Global Net News and Buzzcode.org, and several cybersecurity experts are confirming that the message did indeed come from The Void. How do they know that? Well, they conducted an independent analysis of the source code and also examined how the message's Internet service provider was concealed. They found digital traits similar to those found in previous threats from the void. You will remember that one of those threats was sent to the New York Trade Index last year, and the void subsequently acted on it, crippling the index for a full day. And that is why today's threat is being viewed as very serious. In a VNN exclusive, we're being joined by a former hacktivist who is now on the other side of the fence, working with companies and organizations to improve their cybersecurity by trying to hack into them himself. His real name and identity are being concealed to protect his own security. We're going to call him Jake. Hi, Jake, and thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me on. What can you tell us from a hacker's perspective about today's threat? Well, like you said, this is serious. The Void has always delivered on their threats in the past 100%, and that's not good news for whoever they have in their sights. So after looking at the message from your perspective, is there any indication of exactly who the target might be? Really, it could be anybody. I mean, they've gone after small businesses for their export and even labor policies. They've gone after big businesses for global and trade stuff, and of course Wall Street last year. I still haven't figured out some of the details that went into that one, and I've been looking at it for months. In general, small to medium-sized businesses do tend to be easier targets, though, since they usually don't have the security resources that big companies do. So what, what exactly would you say to anyone trying to protect their company or their organization from an attack like this? Apart from hiring me? No, I'm just kidding. I'd say that everyone from small businesses to huge companies needs to know the rules. People are working from everywhere now, using a laptop for work and for personal things, so they, they need to know how to keep safe. Uh, the bad stuff I uncover for companies usually deals with employees who don't know what's cool and what's not cool, like randomly downloading software, plugging into unsafe networks, losing things like external hard drives and thumb drives that aren't protected. That's how companies expose themselves to hackers, thieves, and scammers. Thanks, Jake, for your insight. Anytime. And we'll have other news from the business world when we return. Thanks for staying with us.